Fuck, I broke it. I broke it. Cars are finicky things. And they're kind of difficult to fix if you don't know what you're doing. A lot of times you got to bring them down to the dealership and you wind up spending a lot of money and it just sucks. So for today's first tip of the day, I'm going to show you how to fix your car. All right, first things first, working on a car, you need a nice refreshing cold filtered beer. Because God knows you're going to get mad. And after a couple of these puppies, you're totally going to forget how to put it back together, but that's okay. So let's set that aside. And we'll start with the engine. The engine's not in here. You, you dope? This is one of the fancy European models. Let's, let's, go, in the, let's go in the back. <laughs> okay. First things first, open the engine bay, make sure you have as much room as possible. So, take it and get rid of it. All right, so, well, you know, so everyone can see what's going on. Uh, we took the engine out of the car, you know, we, we didn't plan this at all. All right, so here, really quick, I'm not going to show you how to, like, how to do a procedure on this. I'm just going to show you the basic componentry of the engine. First, you have your... Uh, the, uh, the the mushroom top that you know it just it sucks uh, air in and puts it inside the engine and it just it just comes off. Next, the very important part of the engine, which should be attached, and uh, this is the uh, fuel modulator. Sucks fuel in from the gas tank and mixes it with the fuel from the auxiliary gas tank that's uh, not many people know about that that exists and uh, and, and it properly it puts it into the into the car and it makes it run and uh, yeah fuel modulator then there's some strings and stuff that I, it's got a, a, a an advanced canister on it for power horsepower um, what else we got uh, very important part this little uh, doohickey right here with all these uh, all these nerves coming off it. This is the atriotic discompressor, which uh, discompresses the engine atriotically, and uh, that that runs that that gets uh, electricity, uh, 14 million ohm, from this canister right here, known as the, uh, the sidewinder, and. Um, that's all just connected and it's the same thing. Oh, this right here, that's your, uh, it sure is. All right, and it's connected with a belt to the bottom and that goes around and it, uh, and it moves. I mean, there's stuff inside the engine that you can't see that I can't see that makes it really move, but that's all way too complicated. So if you have all these parts working uh, in symbiosis, you know, sy symbiotically, you got a working car. It even comes with stuff that uh that falls off. You don't need that. That's what is that? That's ridiculous. It's it's not even a real part. So I mean, and now now that you uh, have a, a very in-depth knowledge of what the uh, what makes a motor run, let's show you what happens when you uh, you fix a motor the wrong way. You got to be careful when working on other people's engines. Take a look. All right, so uh, change your oil, did your timing, you're all good to go. It's uh, 400, 450. All right, gonna start this up? Yeah, I guess start it up, whatever. All righty. Oh, fuck. Some for me. And some for mine, Fiona. So have fun, guys. Fix your car. It ain't, it ain't that hard. I can do it. I'm a fox.